In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the presenter view in PowerPoint. The presenter view is a very uh, useful alternative that allows you to see the slides before and after your presentation. So I'm going to use two slides to demonstrate um, the typical use of it. Uh, the first demonstration, I'll be showing you a PowerPoint with uh, multiple slides, but there's no audio. And the second slide, I will show you a um, slide that has a sound embedded in it and how do you play it. Okay, so without further ado, let's look at the first uh, demonstration. There's only two things you need to do. There's only two steps uh, to uh, set up this presenter view. So the first step is, of course, to not just open up your PowerPoint, but to go to set up slideshow. It's under slideshow. Go to set up slideshow. In uh, different versions, like the uh, Microsoft... Um, the newer versions, you can actually see the setup slideshow icon under slideshow. So anyway, once you are in setup slideshow, there's only two things you need to note. Okay, the first thing is the advanced slides. For the advanced slides, um, if you check on manually, it means that if you have any animation or you know transitions, you have to click on them manually for it to move. I suggest you use timings if they are present, so that when you click one time. You know, your animation can go on, so you don't need to click on it manually. The next thing to note is multiple monitors. Now, previously, we have set up the laptop as monitor 1 and the projector as monitor 2. Okay, so once you set up like that, you are, you are able to uh, have a preview of what is the slide before it's shown on the screen. Okay, so... Now the only thing you need to do is to tell and ask yourself where you want to display the slideshow. Okay, so the place you want to display is on monitor two, which is the projector. Okay, and just a note here: see, show presenter view. You need to select this before you can use the presenter view. So once this is done, okay, click OK. It will bring you back to the 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 so-called the editor mode okay nothing is still on the screen so watch this I'm gonna run the uh, slideshow and see what happens the, the slides come out as regular okay no change but notice this on your laptop right now you actually have a uh, kind of like a preview and an actual screen where uh, for what is being shown okay so this is very useful because now, whatever I, I click down here, this is, a, this is the, the preview of what's shown here. You can actually select now any slide and jump to any slide that you want without uh, fearing uh, that you're lost you know, in your slides, you don't know where you are. So this is a very useful uh, tool, the presenter view, to, to check your slides. Okay, one advantage of using this is of course you have the option of ending the show you have a black screen or using keyboard shortcuts okay I just demonstrate this black screen so now suppose you're talking halfway and then you want to have people divert their attention to you you don't want them to look at your slide you can actually click on black screen and the screen goes black see nothing on the screen okay and if you uncheck the black screen if I just click resume show watch what happens the slide comes back on Okay, so this is a very useful tool, the presenter view. Okay, so to recap, let me just escape and end the show. Go to set up slideshow. Okay, once you open your slide, which is here, make sure that your slides, you if you have timing for your animation, select use timing if present. And after you've extended your desktop, make sure that you select monitor tool to display your slideshow and make sure, make sure that you have this checked, this box, show presenter view. Okay, and then just run the slide. Now I'm going to demonstrate the next uh, PowerPoint where you have a sound embedded on it. Previously I explained that um, to have sound playing from a laptop, you need to have your audio jack, okay, for your laptop connected to your headphone okay output and make sure that it's connected into the channel and make sure there's some volume there okay master volume is up and the channel volume is up so here's what you do you have a, I have a slide here with a audio to play now unlike a regular slide 
unlike a regular slide where you don't have an extended desktop okay and you're not using presenter view you can actually click directly on screen the icon and it will work now but if you are in presenter view it's different okay let me just demonstrate so I'm in presenter view right now I run my slide okay you can see that the slide is shown now but how do I get sound out from this now I can't click it in the preview mode because if I click you will see that it just tells me to advance the slide now but I have no more slides so what you need to do simply is to move your mouse out of the window okay just move how do you move it out of the window just go to the right and when you go to the right you see that your mouse will come out here okay just locate the icon on the edge I'm not sure you can see my mouse can you see my mouse okay and just click on the audio icon okay the sound will be playing okay so now you have the option of uh, using the presenter view to run your slideshow it really depends on uh, what situation you prefer for me I would uh, rather use presenter view if, if I have many slides if not I will use a single slide show uh, to display this and maybe as a bonus this is the last thing I will show you how to run the slideshow without the presenter view